Hello everybody, Miss Melissa here to celebrate another letter of the week with our flannel board. And today's letter of the week is C. We have our uppercase C and our lowercase C. And notice the lowercase C is just a small version of our capital C. They look just the same. Before we talk more about the letter C, let's sing the alphabet together and practice all of our letters. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Great job, friends! Now let's get back to the letter C. And the first thing that we have that starts with the letter C is a cow. What sound does a cow make? Moo. That's right, cow starts with the letter C. Oh, I know a little, little bug that starts with the letter C and it's called a caterpillar. And this is a very special caterpillar because this is a caterpillar from a very popular story. It's the very hungry caterpillar. But caterpillar starts with the letter C. Here's a tasty treat that starts with C. Cake. Who out there likes cake? I do. And cake starts with the letter C. Who knows what this is? It's a car and car starts with the letter C. Vroom, vroom. I've got another animal that starts with C. Can you guess what it is? It's a cat. And what sound does a cat make? Meow, meow. Here's another food that starts with C. A carrot. Yum, yum. Carrot starts with C. Something that you can see in the sky that starts with C. A cloud. Cloud starts with C. Ooh, another yummy treat. It's a cookie. C is for cookie. And one last thing that starts with the letter C, and it's a, another fun book character is... Clifford! Clifford the big red dog! Clifford starts with C. Now, my story on the board today is another very popular book character. One of my favorite cat book characters because cat starts with C. Do any of you recognize this buddy? Does anybody know who this is? Who is this friend? It's Pete the Cat! because cat starts with C. And I'm going to share his story, Pete the Cat and His White Shoes. And of course it is by Eric Litwin and James Dean. And what's Pete missing if I'm gonna tell a story about his white shoes? His shoes! Let's get those shoes up there. Here you go, Pete. One white shoe. Two white shoes. This is a story about Pete walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his shoes so much that he walked along singing this song. And feel free to sing along with me if you know it. I love my white shoes. 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 <gasps> oh no! Pete stepped in a pile of strawberries. What color do you think it turned his shoes? What color is a strawberry? Red! <gasps> uh oh. Oh no, did Pete cry? Goodness no. 
he just kept walking along, singing his song. I love my red shoes. 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 Oh no! Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color do you think it turned his shoes? Let's see, what color do you think? Blueberries would turn his shoes. Blue! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along, singing his song. I love my blue shoes. 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 Oh, no! Pete stepped in a giant mud puddle. What color do you think it turned his shoes? What color is a mud puddle? What do you think? It turned his shoes brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along, singing his song. I love my brown shoes. 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 Oh, no! Pete stepped in a giant bucket of water. And it washed away all the brown and all the blue and all the red. And what color were Pete's shoes again? What color were those shoes if it washed away the brown, the red, and the blue? They were white again, but now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. I love my wet shoes, squeak, squeak. I love my wet shoes, squeak, squeak. I love my wet shoes, squeak, squeak. I love my wet shoes. The moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song because it's all good. Yay! I hope you liked that song, that story with me and song, and I hope you sang along. And if you didn't sing along the first time, you can watch this video again and sing along next time. It's a lot of fun. The book's also a lot of fun to read. So please enjoy that and enjoy all the other Pete the Cat stories. Until next time, when we will talk about the letter D, let's get those waving hands out. Are you ready? We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, everybody.